back, everybody. Welcome to Black Ram GX Gaming. We're here with live. We got on Candy, who's first. What's up, dude? How are you doing? Um, we're here on this beautiful Friday. I'm uh, on a little bit later, but you know what? It's not a normal day, so eh, whatever it happens. Um, so we're going to be doing some Rainbow Six Siege today, doing some more ranked. Um, we got to Silver 2 or Silver 1 yesterday, so we're almost gold already somehow. Silver 2. So um, we'll be trying to push our way back up and see what happens from there. Uh, thank you, Uncanny, for that like. Appreciate you, buddy. I didn't. Uh, I don't know if it'll pop up or not, because he was here so fast. Sometimes, if it's too fast, it won't pop up. Uh, but I see it. I recognize. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, if you're watching here for the first time, hey, please help us out. Drop a follow. Drop a like. Give us a comment. Um, share stars. Whatever you feel like doing. If you're over there on YouTube, thanks for watching. Uh, sub and drop a like. Let's go. I waste any time, right? It's hot. It was like going down pretty good, but right here it's hot. It's awful. Cheers to the weekend, everybody. This one's pretty good. I see they fixed a few things like this little thing up at the top right didn't fit on the screen before. So I did buy, because I had leftover credits. I had enough leftover credits to buy all of the uh, remaining operators, except for one. Technically two. Um, didn't get the new guy because I don't have the season pass. And it's like... The most recent defender, I think. I didn't get her uh, primarily because she cost uh, more credits than anybody else. Must just be the most recent. So I figured I'll make it up enough around renown to get one of them. Don't know which one, but one of them for sure. Jackal. I really liked his and a few of the other elite skins for these guys that get banned every single game. They look cool, but you could never use them. Thatcher being the other one. Thatcher uh, and Jackal almost never survive. At least one of those two is gone from every game. It's terrible. Then again, Jackal is super annoying if you're roaming at all. Or once they have control of the outside of the room, it's ugly. Cap can's an interesting pick. Tachanka? Tachanka was almost the pick. Holy shit. Cheers. I'm a little bit tired today. So if I see you off, um, that's why. Hoping this first drink here will pep me up a little bit. But, uh,. Yeah, the week caught up to me. All right, got a Jaeger using the shotgun. Oh boy, like Thunderbird has super good weapons. So I gotta try. I don't know if I should, honestly, in ranked here, but I kind of want to try some of these new characters that I don't see used very often. Problem is, I don't even know what some of them do. Hey, Michael Payne. What's going on, buddy? How are you doing? Good morning to you. What's new? What's happening? What's good? Glad to see you in here. Hey, thank you for that like. What an interesting place. Cheers. I don't know this Australian map. Ten seconds. The Outback. Down to five seconds. Op four has located a bomb. Plan your defenses accordingly. Bomb located by Op four. I don't know. Why I'm doing this. Just throwing stuff places. Wild. 
Door six. Uh, so you're happy now, just waiting on the hot water. Oh, so you have straight up no hot water anywhere right now. The door's kind of a big one though, so I can imagine you're pretty happy about that. Ooh. Op 4 has placed a diffuser near a bomb. Destroy it. Diffuser located. Protect the bombs. Disable the diffuser. I saw the tip of his gun! I'm sad about that. I got you out in the open. Oh, time's almost up. Oh. Up. Well, that sucks. They pushed him well. I just don't know this map that well. The Outback. No hot water, so can't shower. Oh, that sounds terrible. In the summer, too? Worst time of the year. But, uh, that's alright. I'm sure what you're getting it fixed probably in like a day or so, right? Probably not a long wait, I would imagine. Jeez. It's winter here, bro. I guess it is the, the polar opposite side of the planet. I, maybe you're messing with me. I don't know. You don't really have a winter, I would assume. It's probably what? Like a 10 degree difference? Wait for the rental people to get on. Um, you gotta do it. Guess all you gotta yell at is uh, your uncle, right? Oh, well, he's got his own people or something that do everything. Might be a little bit tired, but I am on right now. There we go. Been raining a bit, the temperature changes. Usually, right now, for us, that just means it gets hotter. The humidity just heats up, and it's no bueno. So we have rental managers, so when I pay my rent, they work out the tax, and if anything needs fixing, my uncle does, uh, doesn't need to do it. Interesting. 
I guess that. Hmm. Maybe that must be. Well, I guess I don't know too much about renting. Secure the bomb. Hmm. That's interesting. Didn't know that that was a thing. But I don't know anything about that uh, renting business. That is one deadly barbed wire. And I'm here for it. Good lord. Everyone's getting capped. That got bad fast. 1v5 completely surrounded at the same time. At least I took one of them with me, right? <laughs> Hell yeah. Kayla, thank you for the like. Cheers. How are you doing? So you have people here that sell and rent houses, like a place called M Game. Beer mug. Interesting. Beer mug. Hey, thank you very much for the hundred stars. Hell yeah, appreciate you, Kayla. Cheers. You better be doing a cheers with me. That's all I'm saying. I expect videos. It's the only way. <laughs> thank you for the hundred stars. Appreciate that. That's awesome. Good way to start the stream, right? First few minutes here. We need to locate a bomb. <laughs> By the way, it's cooler than it was, but not cooler right here. It's awful still right here. Honestly, I'm thinking more and more of the green screen's gotta go. I think it's just like Capturing all the heat. Oh, I thought I could go ran that machine. Woo. Five seconds before insertion. You thought those were pancakes? That's hilarious. You a big fan of pancakes? I I'm indifferent. They're okay. Ready to breach.
That sucks because everyone's getting cleaned up. Huh? Levon, thank you for the like. Ooh. Appreciate you. Cheers in just a second. That was unfortunate. Cheers, thank you very much. This guy's got it. He's gonna take out the last three. No way this goes wrong. It's gonna be awesome. Cheers. Ooh. Thank you for cheersing me back. Hope you guys are having fun out there on the vacation. Ooh. Kind of like a vacation, I guess. We have been Derek Pitts. What's going on, buddy? Hey, how are you doing? Good to see you. Fun fact, Overwatch 2 comes out in October. No way. It's early. Oh, no kidding, it does. October 4th. I thought they were just going to have that same game forever, like Siege. Why wouldn't they just do a Siege 2? Yes, we are. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I'm kind of jealous because it's super hot here right now. It was supposed to be cooling down. Just hasn't happened. Cheers. Let's go. And it's free to play? Is it really? I don't know. I guess I might, I might consider downloading it then. I think I'd be terrible because I never played the first, so I wouldn't know many of the mechanics. We need to locate a bomb. How are you doing, Pitsy? What's new? What's going on? Good, uh, see your name, hear from you again, it's awesome. What else is coming out that you're excited for? Honestly, the Rick and Morty game looks amazing, um, the Starfield game looks amazing, there's just a lot of other things that I'll probably try at some point. You have no option but to do it. Oh, that's terrible. Five seconds I guess if I have no option, though. Guess I'll have to try it. <laughs> good man, how you been? I've been doing pretty good, pretty good. Um, just streaming, doing the things, doing the stuff. You know, nothing too crazy. Moved into a new place. Um... Doing some shoe stings again. You, uh, been playing Apex lately or not? Because I've seen some changes coming up. I've seen lifelines getting a big buff and all this stuff. I don't know, it sounds interesting. This is bullshit. Dang it! That hot swap. Close. Keen for the Harry Potter game at the end of the year. Ooh, I, I am pretty excited for that. I haven't seen it uh, pop up in the store yet. I think there's a lot of games I'm excited for. I'm just not keeping track of because they're not even in the store to look at or anything like that. I don't know why. They know, like, the general time it's going to come out. 
but they just don't have an exact date maybe xbox used to put games in there that didn't have an exact dates i think they'd get pre-orders and then the games wouldn't finish and they had to give money back so i think they stopped doing it until there's like a guaranteed date oh come on team i'm the only one who tried it's kind of sad Also, the only one ranked of everybody. What is going on? Ah, oh, slipping down. That's alright. Heading out, Pitsy. All right, buddy. Well, feel free to come back anytime. We love having you here. Um, also, feel free to drop a like on your way out. Helps us out a lot. Appreciate it. I'll even give you a cheers. Ooh, and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Yeah, those will be pretty fun. Which one are you going to get, Michael? Are you going to get both? There's still got to be one you're going to play through first, right? Whoops, too many spaces. It auto puts in a period if you do two spaces. All right. Let's get rid of Fabella. Get that out of here! I haven't played that once in ranked. It's always banned every time. It's fantastic. I love it. Wait until... Wait. What games are you talking about? You wait until games are finished? So the DLC aren't continuing the story? Some games do that, for sure. But, like, what what games are you talking about that you're waiting for? I know, like, Resident Evil 8. It's taken them... What? A year and a half or so? Not quite. Like a year and a quarter, like 15 months, to announce the DLC that they've been working on this whole time. That kind of continues the story. It's like 16 years ahead, though. It's kind of weird. Doesn't look like much changes in the world in those 16 years. You have Scarlet on order. I was thinking... Mike, what's going on? Cheers. Thank you for the like. How are you doing? How's Fortnite going? Um, I was thinking about getting Scarlet, but I don't know. Scarlet or Violet, doesn't matter to me. I like both. Um, me and the girlfriend were talking about getting one of each. Her favorite color is purple, so she'd probably get violet. So I'd probably get scarlet by default. That was about Xbox doing pre-orders, but the game's not finished yet. Well, sure, but um, what I meant is they had a lot of games where like it'd get announced a year, two years in advance. And they'd put it on there, and it would just say, to be determined for the date. If it's to be determined, they don't seem to put that stuff out anymore. Suck solo. I can imagine. This has been interesting, uh, to answer your question, solo. I had a pretty good game last round. But my teammates, uh, not, they were all negative. Nobody did, uh... No one had a positive game, we'll just say that. Besides me. So that kind of sucked, but... What can you do? Not... Too upset. It happens. I have bad games. Now, I'm a little curious why our Doc main LOL just, uh... <laughs> killed our teammate. Um, that's the opposite? Of what a doc is supposed to do? Back. 
What, that got stolen? What? Who else has a... I gotta get the bomb over here. That hurt. As long as they slowly all push through the exact same way, we're good. God damn. Well played. I didn't hit her once. I look pretty bad there. <laughs> oh boy. That'll help since there is regionals. Is it really? Ah, he almost got away with it. That would have been cool if he got away with it, but, yeah. Jotty Dingus. So, I don't think we did that bad there. I mean, I think we could have got them maybe if, uh... Long John Peter didn't disconnect there and Doc Main didn't kill... Somebody. That was interesting. He had an infection? Who had infection? Sorry, I get lost sometimes when this gets intense. And when I keep playing these rounds, last game and this game, it feels like, and all of a sudden it's 2v5 in the first 30 seconds. It gets, uh, it gets intense fast. I kind of hate and also like the games where uh, your whole team is good and they're working well together. The other team is not doing well. Um... And you get those moments where you don't even get to see the enemies and you've already won. Kind of like those. So it looks like they don't trust each other because they're all teabagging back there. Did he just really shoot at me? You pretend that he didn't just do that? Oh, he had to kill Doc Main. Okay, getting revenge on each other. Super annoying. The guy that Doc killed. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you must have. Too bad now we don't have a dock. That's right. Who needs him? I swear to God, by like round three though, we're gonna have a full team for the first time. It's gonna be glorious. Cheers, everybody. Oh, well, I'm glad Civ lived this time. He actually got a kill. Not bad. Like this. This is really nice. I haven't seen one person. I mean, I prefer the action and getting some kills and doing some amazing stuff, but it's kind of a nice break from uh, everyone getting slaughtered. Fucking nah. What? Huh? He just killed four people in three seconds. That was amazing. 
I don't even know what happened. I'm not even mad. That absolute moron threw the C4. Didn't hit the window. Came right back down and blew it up as it hit the ground where he was standing. Getting Civ murdered again. Probably by himself. I think he killed himself. Damaging me and another guy. The other guy I heard it just jumped right in. Obliterated what was left. And that was amazing. That was so cool. I'm super pissed off. <laughs> the new attacker is the only one I don't have. Uh, since Thorn and Azami. I don't have um, the last defender or the recent attacker. Yeah. Thorn and Azami are the only two defenders I don't have. I just bought everybody else. Um, but I haven't tried everyone. So I got a lot I need to try, but I have so many I already like that I know how to use. I don't know. No one got hatches, this is bad. I just heard someone repel on the roof. You gotta play training grounds for a bit. Yeah, I don't blame you. It's kind of cool. I did uh, the CQB to warm up two days ago. And I did real good. It was a lot of fun using Ella shotgun on people in that kind of range. Ooh, that aim was not great. I'm gonna be honest, he scared the fuck out of me and then I just ran because there's so much team killing going on. <laughs> I don't even know who I shot. I just got scared and I ran. I had no idea that guy was behind me that whole time. Yeah, Mike, you gotta try, uh, if you're getting back into the swing of it, the close quarters combat thing. Um, it's just deathmatch in a really small little training area type deal. I thought it was awesome. But I had to go into the ranks, you know? I had to I had to see where I could uh, still land these days. Cheers. I'm thinking, you know, today I've been doing pretty decent. Um, been sitting at the top of the leaderboard for my team, even if they haven't been winning every round. Um, probably because of this these two clowns uh i think i can get gold at least i don't think i could hit that platinum without a solid five-man team playing with day in day out but uh gold definitely doable solo How long has it been since you played? Your drone has found a bomb. Ten seconds before insertion. Five seconds. You've located a bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it.
That's just unfortunate. Oh, that was dumb. That's dumb. Ah! I don't know how I ended up with my pistol, to be honest. I had the grenade launcher thing on. I pressed Y to switch it back to the main gun, but that was not the right button. It was left on D-pad. And uh, I ended up with that pistol. Kind of panic gaming because it took a while to pull it out. <sighs> That's dumb. I should have at least got the first guy and maybe the second guy. He's got that left right head bob. Are they both Neo from the Matrix? What? Why were they both dodging so many bullets? That was actually kind of hilarious. They're both standing up, no cover, running at each other. And this guy's at least standing out in the open. My teammate, the other guy's running right at him. Bobbin and Weaven shooting all their bullets around each other like it's a, a comedy movie. <laughs> it wasn't until, like, I don't know, after he wasted 30 bullets in that LMG that he finally started to hit him. That may have been one of the most impressive things I've ever seen. I don't think most people could miss that bad uh, if they tried. At least two people. And they definitely weren't trying. That's what's even better. God. I want to see that again. Should we do a clip of that one? Jeez, everybody. I think it's super cool that you can just change your characters all willy-nilly out here. Um, based on what the defenses are. I feel like that gives the defense a pretty big uh, disadvantage. But, but, I don't see people change very often. At least on my own teams. Every once in a while, like, after it's way too late to change, I'll get messages to turn to Thatcher or Thermite or something. best. Cover 
Damn, did that bounce to the door? Or... He just had absolutely perfect aim. Oh, the Claymore came through at the end. Look at that. I completely shocked that I got somebody with that shit. Look at that. Up two kills. Um, or two deaths, I should say. Down three kills from this guy. And still got that MVP I'm holding on to. All right, we need one more good round. Take it in the overtime. All right, let's see if we can switch this up. Let's go. Let's do this. Okay, Long John Peter stepping up. Pretty much everyone but Doc Main is stepping up. Wow, and they've got one guy, Soviet Onion, the Claymore man himself. We need to a bomb. So pretty much what it looks like is if we take out Soviet Onion, hilarious name, then uh, we pretty much win the round. That's the key. Whether he tears apart our entire team or we get him early on. Not great shots, and that is lucky for that drone. I heard him right there. Oh, and a Claymore at the end, too. Another one. Hell yeah. I can't believe I got someone in that same spot twice. Oh, damn. Long John Peter keeps staying ahead of me. Two assists, two kills that round, though. Let's see what Peter's got to say. GS? Good save? What is GS? Does anyone know? Can anyone tell me what GS means in multiplayer game o game o game um lingo game o game lingo um right answers first and then wrong answers only after get some I think it's get some Guilty spark. The first thing that comes up is... I 
Halo reference. So we got two guys missing health right now. Thank God. What would we do if we weren't at a disadvantage every round? Swear it's nuts. I like that we do the bare minimal reinforcing. Oh, and the guy who has the fucking armor puts it all the way outside. Son of a bitch! Me and Long John Peter are gonna win this. Okay, I definitely forgot I had that. That's a rude awakening. She was ready for me. I, oh, Soviet Onion, the arch nemesis of our only chance to win. We still got Long John Peter in this. Okay, we had Long John Peter. So this is really coming down to a game of two people on each team. Black Ram, Long John, Soviet Onion, and kind of Johnny Dingus. Gotta do Sophia. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. It's the only way. This is how we get that win. Jeez. I need to change I'm trying to figure it out at the end I think I need to just stick with um, Long John Peter wherever he goes I'm just gonna follow because he doesn't seem to die right away so that's quality one I mean if you want to follow the people that die right away at least they'll tell you where the enemies are um, and you can just clean up the kills but I think when him and me were backing each other up we had our best games best rounds And we're the only two who haven't uh, hurt our team so bad <laughs> that we can't continue to hurt our team. Honestly surprised one of them isn't banned for uh, explosives that have done a lot of damage. Peter, what are you doing over there? Reloading.
Nothing like losing your shield advantage by repelling. Let's see what he can do. Wow! Disconnect in the most crucial time. Well, that's a loss. Hopefully I can just get back in in time to not get banned. That is so unfortunate. That's only the second time that's happened to me. I see it happen to people all the time. They get disconnected and they get right back in. But, uh... It's gonna happen more than I'm comfortable with to me. It says reconnecting to ranked, but at the same time that I was disconnected from everything. Might not be ongoing anymore. Oh, we're still going? Okay. We got a chance. Where's Long John? Me and Long John are dead? Well, I got disconnected, but Long John's dead? What in the glitch is happening? Did you see that? They started to pass through a reinforced wall. Is it just glitched to high hell? I think it was uh, the guy picking up kills at the end. And KD's not gonna move you up the leaderboards there, but that is heartbreaking. <sighs> so close. I really think, based on the results later without me, that if I was in that game, we would have won. At least that round. Damn, that's really disheartening. Just falling down the leaderboards. Or not the leaderboards, well, probably that too. Um, the ranks. Because of bullshit. That is... That is the referees in, like, NBA and hockey games throwing up bullshit penalties to make sure that it goes to another game so the company makes more money. That's what's happening. Well, I'm going to go back in. I'm going back in angry. So I'll be right back. <clears throat> Two, two, we're back in time. Oh no, what are these votes? Clubhouse? Clubhouse? That's the best one.
some creative banning going on here. I didn't see the map. So I'm not sure what we're playing on. Mute? This is dumb as hell. Can you people switch weapons and running? Your people are already shooting each other. What is going on? Mike Lou, who was in here chatting just a little bit ago, um, he was talking about how he wanted to do training ground, so I looked his uh, stream up. Well, it popped up on my phone. Protect the bombs. So that's what I was hearing the whole time, and it was freaking me out. Man. Oh, gosh, everyone's over there. Oh, oh, it doesn't work like that. That absolutely hurt so bad. Straight over his head, it did. A bomb has been located by Op Four. Oh! Last operator standing. 
That sucks. Regular heartbeats on that one. <laughs> Jeez, can't believe we uh, pulled that off. I thought the person was just gonna plant, but uh, I don't know. Maybe they couldn't see shit. All right, I'm gonna give Thunderbird a chance here. Thank you for the share there, William. Appreciate you. Alright, he's going out. He's saying, fuck it, I'm doing it live. Teammate, no! Someone else out there, I can hear him. Oh, Jesus Christ! A two front assault. I didn't hear that man hop in the window at all, but I don't know what everyone's doing when you can assault the room from um, such an easy couple of places. Why they're, why they're roaming? This is the one room where you probably need one roamer. Not particularly easy to lock down. Might have been easy, easier without the hole, we'll say. Right in front of the window so they couldn't hop in and just quick skip through the rooms. But I don't know. That's just my opinion here. Don't know, uh... Don't know what's right or wrong. Alright. Need some pump-up tunes between the rounds. Get me going. Where are we going? We're gonna try that shit again? Found the perfect pump up album. It's the classic uh, Tarzan album. If you don't got Phil Collins pumping you up, what are you doing? Protect the bomb.
Oh, there's no hatch anymore? Okay. I thought there was. Let's just end that crap right now. I thought it was such a ballsy move, there's no way he's gonna see it coming. Clips me in the face. <laughs> so lucky, so lucky. He is lucky that recoil perfectly bounced up to my head after his first shot was like way down here. Gave him a free kill, but I otherwise would have got his ass. I think he should have got that. There we go. Let's go, baby. One minute, though. This guy's got plenty of time to figure out the legit good strategy. Make some moves. I will come back to this window. gonna play scared now That's what I'm talking about. Finally getting a team that's playing pretty well together. Oh wow, they added a different handgun? I don't think this was always here. Guess. Oh, wait. I think her AK is like auto suppressed, isn't it? I should just know that. Probably one of my favorite characters that's came out in the last couple of years. Um, Use your drone to locate a bomb. But I guess I haven't been using her as much because I've been all Zofia. Yeah, guaranteed. Gotta be lockups, right? Your drone has found a bomb. Right, securing that top spot with some points. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Now it's time to do even better. Get a bunch of kills. Oh, I'm all assists. Assist points and a couple kills here. That's what you gotta do, I guess.
Don't worry, I got it. <laughs> oh, it's always funny when you get it one shot after somebody absolutely blows half a mag trying to hit it. Make any progress getting in this building? That's bullshit. I thought that last one was definitely a headshot. So they're not on the ground very long. I thought it was a lot longer for them to get up. They speed that up in the last three years? Probably not. Probably just bad memory. Okay, where are they going to be? I think Maverick will be good here if they go to that uh, bathroom area like we were in. Cheers. It was a great time back in the day. Siege had a lot of great times. Um, they've updated it to get more serious and uh, slightly less fun, but a little bit less trolly, obviously, um, over the years. So back in the day, you could scan enemies as much as you wanted, and it was 10 points each and every time. So your whole goal was to keep your drone alive and just scan, 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 scan to get as many points as you could to steal MVPs. So good, so good. One of the best things ever. You'd get accused of all kinds of stuff, but... You know, you just say something along the lines of, uh, well, you know, without me, you wouldn't know where anybody is. Even though because of you, they still didn't know where anybody was. Because you scanned everyone before the game started. But sometimes you just sit back and you scan... It's kind of dirty, but also hilarious. You watch a guy with nine kills versus a guy with two, and the guy with two would win just because he was a scan fiend.
Don't know a good way to get this dude. Oh, we're already winning four to two. But get him. It was just one of those games where you never see anybody. I'm trying to play it smart, slow, strategic. By the time I figure out what's going on, we're already winning and they got two guys left. People are basically in the room. I'm holding on to the diffuser. No bueno. Okay, there's a muzzle break on, so we can take that off. Or, uh, oh wait, that's a muzzle break. Okay, never mind. Suppressor, suppressor, suppressor. I do think it's cool that, like, it shows you kind of like a miniature version of the skin now on your weapons. So if I can steal this one back, get the win here, I can get that MVP. It'll be my first one where I ended the game with uh, this character. No, man. I was blinking so hard. You've located a bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. That's an interesting skin. I've never seen that one. The legendary. Also, let's get real here. What the fuck was he doing right on the other side of that window right there? <sighs> he won that, but this is getting awkward. Goodness. He killed himself with a grenade and he quit before the grenade went off. Isn't that amazing? <coughs> He's disconnected. I don't know. Maybe he'll come back. Maybe. I can really hope. We don't have the whole game to lose here. The fuck is that? Fink has got some new stuff I'm not aware of. 
<coughs> Cheers. A little jumpy, a little jumpy. Had the free kill there. Clever girl. Guys waiting like anyone's pushing him. Nobody's pushing him. We have been eliminated. He should have done that from the start. <laughs> oh, dang. Those two are pretty much carrying us to this victory. I don't know what the fifth guy was doing. Was he good? Was he bad? He's something. Yeah, that other guy's not coming back, is he? If he does, it'll be the moment the character selection's over so he can't get in the game. Be two rounds down a guy. Cheers. Oh, he returned as soon as character selection was over. That's wild. I feel like they do that on purpose now. Because um, back in the day, right? I should have got that second bomb. That's bullshit. Um, back in the day, you would wait 15 minutes sometimes. Like an outrageous amount of time for people who were rejoining to get back into the game before it started. And oftentimes, you'd wait all that time, and they still didn't get to pick a character. They still weren't in the game. So I think sometimes when you're rejoining that you are not going to be allowed to pick a character so that the game moves along. Someone's gonna show the face.
Damn, well played. That dude, oh, that dude, somebody else, Bandit must have came around. Just spanked us bad. I'm pretty proud that I'm still ahead of a guy with eight kills. And, uh, 30% less deaths. It's impressive for what it is. See, they start doing a lot more like limited time exclusive skins. It must be. There's like these classic elites, and then there's these uh, like Japanese warrior ones I've seen of Bandit, Smoke, a few other characters. Pretty cool. But I haven't seen that you can still get them, so it happens. Cheers. See if I can get this done in time. I doubt it. They come up here pretty quick. So there's a good chance I get capped right here. Cannot see anything there. Cog scope. That's so good. Ah. I knew I was looking for that guy in case he wasn't looking for me. But as soon as I saw him up there, I knew I was in bad, bad position. He had the top down on me. I'm um, the fish in the barrel. I don't like it. Well, it was a great game. Um, awesome to be 0 3 here to start with. Uh, Solo ranked, but you know, you get what you get. One out four remaining. Start shooting. Don't turn. Mission failed. All friendly. We lost, but good goddamn, what a play by these guys. All right, now I can finally see the Nomad ultimate here, or not ultimate, um, MVP engine. Oh, that's kind of cool. Like a Indiana Jones type of deal, Ancient Explorer. So I had my couple good games, I had a bad game. After two really good games, um, that's what happens. Sad to see uh, me slip further down no matter how good or bad I do. It's nice that you move up, 
a whole rank when you lose. It does suck when you move a whole rank down when you lose, though. So, uh, we're going to slip into a game here. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Let's do this. It smells like campfire, by the way. Is someone doing a campfire in a parking lot? that someone's got the old elite ace oh someone else playing stars sophia don't like that i imagine i should have picked her if i wanted her but that's my girl cheers also the guy playing ace spelled lightning wrong on purpose or not, hard to say, but uh, terrible. Drone has found a bomb. Sucks when they get you one shot like that. Someone really hates getting scanned. Me and the guy who can't spell lightning, right? Let's see what we can do.
We're just doing some building shenanigans here. I was hoping someone was going to enter and I could follow them. Key is to stay absolutely still to the point where they don't know you're there. Oh fuck, doesn't help when you lose teammates. I don't know how to get in here. Just eating my air jabs for fun. Yeah, I realize what's happening at the time. There's really not much I could do. The whole team got crippled. I'll clean up a kill, I guess. I think that frost would have completely crushed me had I jumped over that shield. Without the bomb, mind you, I had nothing I could do. The guy who died with the bomb died in just a terrible place. <clears throat> Where you knew there was people in those offices. Could be anywhere. Can't go through the same window. That's a certain death. Cheers, cheers. Um, hoping uh, switching to Zofia here is going to give me some uh, kind of boost. Awesome, what's happening, buddy? How are you? Good to see you back in here. What's up? How's your Friday? You having a good night so far? Oh, did you see that? Twirly whirl? Alright, don't... Don't pay attention to what you saw in the last one, though. Five seconds. We found a bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Anytime. Good to see you. I've been seeing your name popping up a lot. Um, on the shorts. You've been enjoying the shorts that I've been putting out? Or the reels, I should say. Sorry. I've had some, some of those things go off on different platforms. They're bangers. Um... <laughs> I've seen on Facebook they'll get a lot of views, but they don't get as many likes. But on uh, TikTok or YouTube, they can blow way up.
shit nuggets. Just playing Cyberpunk 2077. Ooh. Oh, Claymore Kill. That's what I'm talking about. From the grave. Um, I played uh, a lot of that when it first came out, not going to lie. Like, not a, like a Cyberpunk a lot, I should say. Because uh, a lot in Cyberpunk is different than the amount I played. I played probably 20, 30 hours right away, but that's not a lot in Cyberpunk. I loved it. I thought it was awesome. It got a lot of criticism when it first came out, like a lot. And uh, it did have a lot of bugs. I knew that one day it was going to be a sharper, better game. The hype would be gone, but the hype was dying fast because of all the criticism it was getting. Um, so I stopped streaming it pretty quickly. But I've heard, since they've upgraded to next gen, made just a ton of fixes and everything, that it is a fantastic game right now. One of the best games out there. So, uh, what do you think? Do you think it's that good, or? Ah! <laughs> He's so big. <laughs> um. Oh shit! Can I switch? Termite. Ten seconds to go. Perfect. Love that you can switch. Um. Not only are you loving it. Uh, what type of character are you playing? I've been thinking for a long time about getting back into that. I just know it's a hell of a commitment, and after playing Elden Ring for like two months, I don't know how uh, committed I want to be to one of those games, because once I start a story-driven game like that, I don't stop. I just want to smash that window. <laughs> Sorry, I got scared. <laughs> If you knew that your toe getting shot a couple of times would drain all the blood from your body and completely kill you, why don't you put steel toes on? I'm just saying, we need to add steel toes as equipment to this game. Next character takes no damage in the feet. It's a genius idea. It's so obvious, it's right there. You can stand in front of all the drone holes you want. That's your advantage. You don't give a shit that a drone hole is right there. You're just like, you know what? Shoot me. See what happens. Not only does it not hurt you, but the bullets ricochet, and they can come back and hit the person within a given probability. I'm just saying... I'm just saying, it's a great idea. We'll call him Big Shoes McGump. And he'll be, uh, we'll just make him an American, why not? Austin, it's gotten better. You're playing on the Series X. It's better on consoles. PC has a lot of optimizing issues. I heard from the start, PC had a lot of issues. Same thing with Elden Ring. I heard Elden Ring had a ton of issues on PC when it first came out, is what um, a friend of mine was telling me. But he said it got a lot better eventually. Eventually. So, don't know what it's like now, but I guess apparently, two years, what is it, a year, two years later now on Cyberpunk, still having issues on PC. That's, that's wild. I got the Series X as well. This thing is a fucking hog. It literally is like, I don't know, it's probably a third of my actual PC size. Purely made for gaming. It gets hot as hell, too. 
the fans at the top of this thing are like the top of a volcano. Okay, it's not that bad. If it was that bad, there'd be some legitimate worries that my uh, console's melting on the inside, but it's all good. You wish more people gave it a chance. I know. I didn't think it was too bad. It had some bugs, but I didn't think it was terrible. So I'm right there with you. I should probably stream it someday. I had a buddy who was completely obsessed with it. He beat it like three times in the first month of it being out, start to finish. I don't even know how he had that much time. To be honest, that's a lot of time. <laughs> but he did well. I'm scared. Wherever I stand to, like, have a good position on people, seems to be not where they go and my team gets crushed. Duh. There's a split second while you're falling that you can climb up. I promise you it works. This is really embarrassing. All right, come on, Siege. Work with me here. Fuck it. It popped up. You saw the option pop up once. There we go. It's such a hard thing to find. It's... If you know, you know, but... It still runs bad on RTX graphics cards, but I love my Series X a lot. Same, dude. Series X, PS5, both of them are essentially the same. Not one or the other is really that much better. They might have small differences overall in power, but they're essentially the same. And they're as good as, like, the best computers there was. They were better than computers when they first came out. There was, like, one... I don't remember what it was. I don't know, $5,000 graphic card that was better than these when they launched. And then graphics cards weren't coming out during COVID. So consoles remained king for the first time in ever. They're just super reliable. They're easy. night night bitch <laughs> there's, there's like nothing better maybe maybe caviar interrogations might be the only one thing that's better than nitro selling somebody That's alright. That's alright. <sighs> Got uh, one free coupon for a massage and Marty's massages. I hear they're the best. I'm just kidding. I don't have that. My back hurts really bad. It's just gonna suffer though. Um, so in the meantime, let's just win this game. We got me and J-Roy here towing this along we got this it's gonna happen no problem awesome you got both luckily the ps5 and the xbox i i was this close to buying a ps5 about a month ago you know it was a little more than a month, maybe two months ago um it was a guy 
I know who has a really good friend that works for uh, one of the Call of Duty companies. I won't say which one. But he basically gets any console he wants at cost. And that's just... His deal, that's his thing. That's what he gets. Um, super cool deal, let's be honest. And then he sells them at cost. He doesn't even sell them for any kind of a bump. You know, maybe he gets them for cheaper. And that's how he's getting a bump. And, uh... I agreed to buy it and everything, and I was like, ah, I don't know. Thinking about it, thinking about it, I'm like, 500 dollars no tax either it was gonna be five hundred dollars um and i was just about to move and everything i'm like uh it just seems like such a bad idea i'm gonna be like man i could have released that five hundred dollars while i'm sitting here playing my xbox and my pc all the time and i had one game on playstation i want to play i have a lot more than that but you know what i mean so i backed out and now ps plus came out and it looks fucking amazing um I've seen all these classic games. I fixed my old PS1, and it was playing that in old PS1 games. I was like, man, it'd be cool to just have a bunch of those for free working on a brand new PS5. Son of a Grand Moff Tarkin. Okay, he jumped in front of me. That wasn't my fault. I still feel terrible, and I think I'm going to get team killed over it. That's the first time I've had the red triangle by my name. Probably this year, in 2022. I made it pretty far. Um, I'm scared. I'm real, real scared here. Austin, your PS5 has not been on in months. I'd still go to my Xbox, honestly. Love the original Resident Evil. That's my thing! I don't know if I mentioned that. That, uh... I saw somebody in a Resident Evil group I'm in. I'm in a bunch of different of my favorite games, groups. Um, Rainbow Six Siege, Resident Evil, uh, Elden Ring. And I saw somebody the day that PS5, uh, PS Plus thing came out playing director's cut all right you don't even have a kill dude no wonder they that's the guy that killed me but they were all together so they all got auto banned for it oh he's dead too already well at least we're throwing the whole fucking game with the final match point on the line oh that's bullshit. No, you guys gotta, you gotta play. You don't just get off. Hell no. Check this out though. I've got a treat for you if you're a Resident Evil fan. So I didn't play it when I fixed up my PS1 and was playing the classics because I let people vote for the games and they didn't pick it. But, uh,. The first one I ever got was the one that they have currently on there, the one with the fart trumpet noises, Resident Evil. Uh, it, since it's invisible here, that's green. Green screen's picking that up. Um, greatest hits. Same thing with RE2, cracked a shit, absolutely falling apart. The top and bottom are two pieces. My sister had it when we were kids growing up. This is technically probably her game. I was probably too young to own this, stepped on it monster and then the first thing i f when i figured out what ebay was i got resident evil 3 nemesis on there so this is somebody else's used copy but it still works great and the um Op four, last operator standing. what do you call it cream de la resistance something along those lines 
I bought this last year. I had a Resident Evil 8 coming out. This was a hard find, by the way. A complete inbox in really good condition, actually. Uh, original Resident Evil, the first one that released 26 years ago uh, in the big box on PS1. This one is hard as fuck. They, <laughs> every iteration of the game after this made it way easier. The first one is so hard. Like, for instance, okay. You're a Resident Evil fan, you played the original. Um, you know what the Hunters are, and you know that it took about three shotgun shells in um, the Director's Cut, and then the Director's Cut Greatest Hits. There was three versions on PS1, and then it was remastered again on GameCube. Um, the original, it takes four. There's only seven rounds on a shotgun. So you need... If there's two Hunters... Uh, you can only fully kill one with your shotgun shells. You either have to switch to your pistol or do some kind Here's of cheaty reload quick. Ah, oh, they can't kill me now. But, that was like normal. Everything in that game was harder. Everything took more bullets to kill. It was poisonous. Wait, we won that? Sorry, I really was not paying attention after I got clapped. By my team. The people I thought loved me. I know a lot came from that way before. I don't know if they're going to do Yeah, you gotta go right through that potted plant. Fuck that plant! You know what I'm saying? RE2 is king in my opinion. I love RE2. It's so good. The first one, nothing for me will ever beat the first one. First one will always be the most nostalgic and the one I played the most. Because it was the first one I ever played. I'm gonna guess 2 is probably your first one you ever played. Uh, that's not necessarily how it works, but that's usually how the cookie crumbles for most people. The first one is their favorite because it's the most nostalgic. It's what got them into the series. So if I had to wager money, I would place my safest bet on that. But thank you. Thank you. It is a good collection. I'm super excited. I don't think I will ever say publicly what I paid for that original Resident Evil 1. Right when the 25th anniversary was happening, everything, nostalgia was highest. Cost is probably highest. But I just knew a 25-year-old game in that condition is not going to last long. And there's not many of them that exist out there. That if I got it, it's almost an investment. If I ever choose to sell, I could sell it for double or triple what I bought. And I would get that money. Shit. It's true. Thank you. I, I think so. Um... Look, our whole team has reverse friendly fire, not one on their team has it. That's the difference. That's why we're on the edge here and they're not. But, oh, so. Um, two was your first? That's awesome. I wish I could have got one in the early stages. I didn't get a PS1. I looked up my model. And my model was two years after the original PS1 came out is when mine was released. Doesn't mean I got it immediately, but that's most likely what it means. So mine is about two years after release. Resident Evil is like one of the first games that came out. Those long boxes were done in the first year. So by the time I got it, that's why I have directors cut first. That's all that was left. And I thought I had played either the first director's cut or the original at my older brother's place. And when I heard the music was weird... I was unhappy. I was so mad that they changed the music in the original. Because the original is kind of like action oriented and then it literally goes into like fart noise music. 
And the history behind that's hilarious, if you don't know it. It's the most trolly thing I've ever seen in my life. And I don't mean the gummy wears. Damn, he played it well. Um, the guy who did the music for Resident Evil Director's Cut Greatest Hits um, copy is like one of the biggest frauds of all time in Japan. So he was a guy who was a... Um, guy who made like classical music and music like that and whatnot. And he was this hero in Japan because he was like deaf or something like that, but created all these beautiful songs. Um, then what he made for Resident Evil sounded like a bunch of fart noises, didn't make a lot of people happy. And it turned out this guy was a national hero for Japan. Huge. Everyone loved him because of what he was able to do through his disability. But it turned out that he was never disabled in the first place. He never had hearing problems. He could hear just fine. He couldn't write his own music. He had a ghostwriter who wrote all of his music for him. So everything about him was fake. Everything was false. And that's the guy who's still here in Resident Evil music today. Because I don't think the uh, original directors slash creators want to admit they're bad. that one. Your dad straight up bought you a PS1 back then? That's a pretty sweet dad you got there. startled. There's the music. Ah, uh, Resident Evil music was great. I wish Claire was in uh, more Resident Evil games. She's in a uh, healthy amount, though. She got the Rev ah, Revelations game. Um, Code Veronica, two. Damn it. I didn't know where he was. I was going to hug that wall, try to pick off the other guy, and then quite possibly blast the wall. He came out. Well played. Another loss. I've only lost tonight, even when I play well. All right. Well, from almost to gold, down to bronze. What a fall it has been. It is quite the tumble. Can't uh, can't let this happen. I'm not in bronze yet. Hey. All right. Um. Well, let me tell you, I'm like a mega fan of Resident Evil. That's probably my favorite series. Look at this shit. Honestly, with them remaking all the games, two, three, four, I'm kind of pissed off they haven't remade one again. I know that's crazy, but like, come on. It has, it's older than four. The remake of one is older than four, and they remade four. I'm not upset because I love four, and it looks amazing. But the original deserves a remake, and... And it's crazy, but I want it in first person because I think with how tight the corridors are and how tight and small, uh, I mean, it's a mansion, it's huge, but the rooms are and how claustrophobic certain parts of it are, I feel like that can activate more fears and it'll be amazing. Resident Evil Zero Remade would be awesome. You know, people are complaining. There's some people out there uh, that they're mad that all these remakes are happening instead of making new games, but they are making new games and making remakes. I saw somebody bitch that they were pissed that they made Resident Evil 4 remake instead of making Resident Evil 9 
while also admitting in the article that they get it that there's two different teams one making nine and one making re4 remake and i'm like you just killed your own argument dumb son of a bitch no but seriously um the remakes are amazing so far i love all of them i like two three obviously short we missed the whole church scene what which i thought was one of the most nostalgic things um was awesome so i'm really sad i missed that but yeah, it didn't make me hate the game by any means i loved it um for remake will be good i really hope they don't go into five and six i hope they go back to one and zero after that uh i think those zones need it the most and code veronica everyone thinks code veronica needs it also the most current version of code veronica x you can get here is a 360 port it's not even hdified not that it needs to be please don't give me an hd version because i'll spend money on it and it won't look any different and i don't want to spend money on it just remake it so those three need remakes before anything revelations one and two were pretty good village man i loved village in seven I thought the new ones were so good. You went through so many RE4 copies. I still have my original PS2 copy from when it first came out, day one. Not a greatest hits or anything, just the black copy. Um, it still works like a charm. By PS2, I started taking care of my games a lot better. PS1, not so much. Because PS1, if I remember right, I kept my games in like... A wicker picnic basket like it had the handle kind of rectangular shaped picnic basket and that's what I kept my CD games in and I was a young dumb small kid who made bad decisions about how he took care of his games um, thank God almost all of them work they are in pretty stellar condition and actually, when I look up the price of original RE1 games now, it's crazy. Crazy the price for a collectible original PS1 game now versus like two years ago. Like a year or two ago when I got that Resident Evil game, I don't want to say what it was, but it's double that now. It's double that in a year. Insane. Um, I think I, I got it here on Xbox. And those might be the only two I got. I thought about getting it on Wii, I'm not going to lie. Um, but I was like, oh, why why waste the money? <laughs> they were charging full price. Also, sorry. Um, I agree with you. Code Veronica deserves a remake. It was awesome. It's a long game, too. Like, it's a long game. That's like a four to five hour game. And for Resident Evil, that's a lot. They usually don't go that long. But yes. I heard about the update for Village coming out, and I'm super stoked. Probably, I don't know when the date on that is. Um, but as soon as I uh, pick it up, I'll be streaming. Uh, what's her name? Is it Rose? Or Ethan's daughter. Her DLC, I'm going to be playing that. I don't know that I'll ever play it through in third person, because honestly, I dig the first person so much that that doesn't give me any jollies. I'm not jumping for joy on that one. Um, mercenaries. I've never been a big Mercenaries fan. So again, that's not something I'm crazy about. Although it does look cool. I cannot lie. It looks very cool having Heisenberg or a big, big booby vampire lady as playable characters. So I'm, I'm pretty excited um, just to give those a try. So choose your favorite. Give me an order. Give me your top five. I don't want to get a full order because that's a lot of games at this point with spinoffs and... Remakes versus originals, 
totally answers. So you could say two and two remake if you were crazy. Ah! 69 health, that's a hilarious number. Boom, baby, let's go. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, because I had 69 health left. You guys probably can't tell because it's behind my back. Mercenaries already four. I played a lot. I, that's probably the one I played the most. Not gonna lie, I did enjoy fours quite a bit. Playing as a uh, hunk, Wesker, all those things. You know, I've never played all the way through, and I might do it when um, right before RE4 remake comes out. I plan to just play through all the Resident Evils right before that. Um, catch some of that hype. I might do Resident Evil Zero on the Wesker mode. If you beat it, you get a Wesker mode where um, Billy's replaced by Wesker and he's got his super speed and a bunch of his martial arts moves and uh, Rebecca's kind of all Weskered out too. Pretty cool. RE2, RE4, Dead Aim, RE2 Remake, Zero. Whoa! You throwing Dead Aim in there? Is Dead Aim... Okay. Nope, I remember which one Dead Aim is. Okay. I had a second of pure... Um, curiosity if Dead Aim was the ship one, or if... It, it was the island one, which was Survivor. Um, I remember. I have Dead Aim as well. I got that used from a GameStop back in one of my very uh, few GameStop purchases. I used to buy stuff from GameStop and sell stuff to them. And then after a couple times, we've all been there, where you sell something to them because you're an awkward middle schooler who doesn't know how to say fuck no when the price is really bad and they just take advantage of you. Parents don't care, because they don't really get gaming. Um, where you sell 20 games for $5, and you get absolutely shafted. After a few of those, I stopped going there, and my copy's kind of beat up too. It was probably overpriced as shit. There's like holes in the plastic. But it worked. That was the main thing. It worked all the way start to finish. And I enjoyed it. It was wonky, being that they wanted to use the gun con, gun controllers, for PS2. It was a bad play. I didn't know which way was going to be the right way to go. He got lucky, though. He's just... He's in a one-times. Got lucky that that recoil bounced around and found my face. Fucking... Clown ass. Hunks when he broke the enemy's back. Yeah, dude. Uh, Resident Evil 4 is just all around insane. Such a good game. I don't even think it needed a remake yet. I, I, I think there's a lot of people who made that argument that it didn't need one yet. I, I don't think that it didn't need a remake, I should say. Um, but what I will say 
is that I think other games needed the, a remake first. So, I'm super excited for it. It's obviously a big cash grab because it's like, what was the most popular Resident Evil game we ever made? Four. They figured that before they put eight out because eight was very similar in a lot of ways. Uh, mechanically, anyway. And right before they remake four, so it was like a hype on hype thing. Um, putting the two together. So I get it. <clears throat> I'm just not not sad by it. Since I think uh, others could have used it more. That's alright though. That's alright. I think Veronica is going to get her day. I think 1 and 0 will get their remasters again. And whenever Resident Evil 1 comes out remastered, the hype for that's going to be balls to the walls insane, dude. I'm just so excited for that. There, It might as well be a brand new game. The hype for it is going to be that big, I think. Just happy to play Resident Evil no matter the game. I agree. Kind of. I should say kind of. Um, I have to preface, preface the kind of because uh, games like, uh, man... What's it called? Not Resistance. Is it Resistance? The one that was supposed to come out with three. That was their big hype in 2019, by the way. Or was it 2020? It may have been 2020. But anyway, two years ago. At least I got that drone, though, if you know what I'm saying. Um, where is it? You know, I actually enjoyed Resistance. I just didn't feel like it maintained a good competitive player base very long. Um, you know, it was trying to be the next Dead by Daylight or something like that in its own sort of form. And why? What was sprinting Adam gonna do? Hopefully, he doesn't use the gun he's got. What was that guy thinking? Now we're in a one-on-one -on -one situation where one headshot, one bullet can mean our loss. Do you think he was Terminator? What was his plan? Hopefully when the bullets bounce off on my skull. No, no, sir. You're not Wolverine. Uh, your skeleton's not made of metal. You will die. Maybe he'll learn. You're not a fan of the RE3 remake? Really? I enjoyed it. I am totally with everybody about uh, the issues it had, though. Reverse was that it? Yeah, never saw a release. It did have um. Uh, what am I thinking of? It did have a beta, and I tried to play that beta every fucking day. Well played. I tried to play that beta every single day on Xbox, and it wouldn't work. It every single day it said. Uh, it was a glitch where it said it wouldn't work till the next day and it never worked once and I was so mad I just wanted to try it. I would have played it for probably two hours two hours max Moved on and said, okay, this is cool. I got an idea of what it is. I'll play the full game at release But no, sadly Sadly, it didn't work for us. It only worked on PC, because that's when I watched people on Twitch and Facebook Gaming and wherever I could see the couple people that were playing it, because it wasn't a huge amount. They were all on PC. 
I was so mad. Um, and I was like, ah, oh, no big deal. It'll come out in like a couple weeks. Two years later, here we are. So whatever. The only thing I really, really strongly disliked about 3 Remake is... Um, The fact that no church scene happened, like I said earlier, but also the fact that it was so quick. Like, there's people beating it in like an hour 35, hour 25, hour 15. Speedrunners are doing insane times on that game. I just personally don't think that's uh, that should be possible. Kind of sucks when a game can be beaten so quick. Cheers. You found a bomb. Make your way to its location. It just feels lacking of content. Because realistically, if Resident Evil didn't have the name Capcom as the studio, if it didn't have a lot of big things going for it, with how quickly you can beat these games, most of the time they'd be a forty-dollar game at max. If a game, if a studio, I should say, with no reputation whatsoever, try to do what Resident Evil does, they would never be able to charge sixty dollars. I'm talking about baby. Let's go! MVP coming right up. <laughs> Cheers. Finally, it's time to get a win. I had to move all the way to the bottom of silver to get one, but we're here. We're here, baby. Let's go. Now, we already saw her say, let's try to get Mavericks. MVP ending here. If I get 30 points, three scans, or find one bomb first, no one can take MVP from me if we win this round. Boom. That's so easy. Uh, I could taste it. Let's go. With resistance, I just gave it a shot too late. Uh, everyone was higher levels. Dude, yeah, there was a point where the only people left we're all level 100, 200, 300, like insane levels. Had everything unlocked. The best perks that gave them all a significant advantage over you. Uh, that that was the only thing about the game I didn't like. Um, the game had loot boxes and not quite pay to win. It was like a form of gambling, but it could effectively help you win. As well as you could just get skins. Um, so it had... Problems in that way where 
Yeah, the people who are playing the most aren't just more experienced, but already have an advantage. So, that's why you hate it. That's why, like, Battlefield 4 was a game I got into kind of late. By the time I got there, uh, if you ever played a Battlefield game, you unlock weapons as you go along, and the weapons get usually better. Maybe not all of them are better, but usually better uh, as you go along. And sadly, people already had unlocked these insane level snipers and what have you before you had even uh, medium to good tier weapons. So... <clears throat> Sadly, it's hard to beat people who are both more experienced and adva have advantages over you. MVP, let's go. Guy almost caught me. Yeah, he did catch me in stats. Who is that? Psycho Tortilla? That's what I'm talking about, baby. PW? Oh, sorry. I don't know if I'm repeating myself. It's been a long night. I didn't move up in rank, I didn't move down in rank. That's good enough for me. So PDW is your favorite in uh, Battlefield 4? I played the shit out of Battlefield 3. Battlefield 4 I got into kind of late. I still played it with friends if I had a group. But I almost always just got shit on by the time I got to it. Like, I got to Halo 3 because I didn't have uh, internet to play online about 3-4 years after Halo 3 was out. And I just got shit on by everybody left in that game. All I wanted to do for years of my life, I grew up with three sides of my house were covered in corn, bean, or corn or soybeans. And in the 90s and most of the 2000s, and even to date, you're not really getting gamer internet out there. You're getting satellite internet with a data limit. It's costing you a lot of fucking money and you're barely able to play and you're getting disconnected from everything. So when I finally got that satellite internet that allowed me to play, I was so excited to finally be able to play Halo Online, only to just get completely smashed over and over and over again by the lords of Halo that were still playing the game four years later. They were all so good. Everyone's doing the jumping thing. I just couldn't stop them. So same thing kind of happened on Battlefield 4. I think I went more into Call of Duty that year versus Battlefield, because it was kind of like a back and forth every year and uh by the time i got there i was just getting shit on a lot uh battlefield one though was the last one i played a lot of i loved it and it never went too in depth on weapons or anything so you never felt super disadvantaged um loved it i had like 30 40 and one games or no deaths in the tanks because they're so good just playing a tank playing smart playing safe Hanging around the outside, never going into anything too close quarters. All, all genius. And I loved it. You prefer Battlefield over Call of Duty? It really depended on which one. Battlefield put out a lot of bombs. 2042 was a bomb. Um, they say it's better now. But, like, the player base already died. There's still people playing. Let me say that. It's just nowhere near the number of people that it was originally. And the people who are still playing, most of them never quit. So they're all super god tier. And that's the same problem. Is it's not easy for you to get in and uh, not get shit on by these kids who know the maps. 
in depthly. They know the weapons well. They know the equipment. They know the exact angles at which they need to throw things. So, <clears throat> that's a problem. Call of Duty, similar problem because I'm unlocking weapons along the way, but usually they give you a handful of really good guns, like some of the best guns for each class. They give you right from the get-go uh, by like level 5 or 10. So you get really good weapons right away. You have a little bit of struggle, you get over that hump, and you start doing well. Also with Call of Duty, the player base never seems to die. Which I don't get, to be honest. They need to locate a bomb. You can get internet till 360. Uh, same for me. The game, Austin, everybody else out there listening, the game that came out, um, it was the newest... When I had finally gotten satellite internet that was strong enough to play it was Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. So that is, again, it's the first one you played. Um, that will always be my favorite Call of Duty of all time. The fact that they kind of have a remake, but it's almost like a complete remake where they, they're using the name... But it's not going to be exactly the same about to come out. I don't know. I find it mostly cool. It seems like I, I will get it. I will put money and time into it. Depending on how much like the original is and how much different it is. So I was pretty late, halfway through the 360 area by the time I got internet. I'm fucking hurt. Oh, get out of here with your looking ass. Oh, well played. I had my fucking grenade launcher out. I didn't expect the hop over. That's some ballsy shit. If I didn't have that launcher out, I would have won. Guaranteed. In the meantime, cheese. Battle <coughs> Ooh, my voice. Sorry. Battlefield 2042 was the only game in this series uh, you went back to. Uh, Battlefield 5, sadly. Oh, it's the only game you hate. Sorry. I skipped a couple words. It's the only one you hate, but you went back to Battlefield 5. A lot of people say that Battlefield 5 now is pretty much king. It's awesome. It's been playing really well. Um, I know the Battle Royale mode always intrigued me. I never played it, but I thought it was the coolest version of a Battle Royale, Firestorm. You know, Fortnite has the storm, and PUBG has the circle. I, it's still called circle or storm or whatever in Apex. Dome. Whatever you want to call it. But having a legitimate reason besides an electrified little area that you will slowly die in of fire burning the whole area around you and a wildfire that's basically encircling you and pushing you in is probably the coolest way that a game has ever made a battle royale with a circle. Uh, changed my mind. Be advised your drone has located a bomb. You know, bar none, that's one of the coolest yeah, ways. I know it had a lot of issues at first. It was like Fortnite dropping all the stuff, but like when you killed somebody. But it was really hard to sort through that stuff. And I think they maybe changed it to a crate or something. I don't know. But I ended up never getting it. Again, Battlefield is just, for me, a continuous disappointment. 
over and over at their launches, and it's not necessarily Dice's fault. It's EA's fault. Let's let's be honest. EA, they're the fuck boys here that keep saying, uh, "We need this release at this point in time because we want to make this much money." You know, they force launches before they're ready. Games fucking suck at launch. They fail, and then they just fire people and say, you're the problem, instead of finding a legitimate solution to it, which is maybe release the game when it's ready. Yes, yeah, so there was, they literally won, or were awarded, uh, worst company in America Two years in a row. Two fucking years. Not only because they treat their employees like complete garbage and have been doing so for a long time, um, but because they just force bad releases. You know what they do? <clears throat> I had a professor who had a friend, a uh, student that he taught who worked for EA. They have something called crunch time. If you didn't know this, a lot of gaming companies actually do have this thing. Basically, what crunch time is, is the game's about to come out. Boom. Shakalaka. Game's about to come out in two or three months. We're not ready. We're nowhere near there. So your 40, 50, 60 hour, hour week is now uh, 120 hour a week. You actually do not go home when crunch time happens at a game studio. So at that point, you're allowed to leave to check your mail if you don't have a wife or kids at home. If you have, say you're a single parent or something, like you're not allowed to leave. That might they might make an exception for you, but there's a chance that they won't keep you on afterwards if you need to take too much time to go home. So, if you have a family, they you have what's called visitation time, like you're in prison. You have an hour a day. The company will buy you all the food and sodas and whatever. Your family's allowed to come into a meeting room, and you can meet with them for an hour. But you're not allowed to leave the building. You definitely sleep there. They have cots set up. You sleep there, you do not leave, and you work all day, all night, until that game is finished. And, oh, shit, that sucks. You're burnt out. You're not getting enough sleep. You're not getting any kind of vacation time. You're not able to relax. Well, that sucks. You want to get paid? You want to be a part of this project? You want to see it through to the end? You don't go anywhere. And uh, that's why I've heard a lot of AAA game studios are. But EA is the worst because they absolutely keep to the deadlines. You know, there's a lot of those games. Uh, even a lot that are coming out soon. You're on Xbox. If you look at the games coming out, they're not there. We were discussing this earlier. Um, because a lot of them don't have sure dates. They're not 100% set yet. If they do not have a 100% set date of when they're going to release, Xbox used to put those games on there. They no longer do. But, uh... Those companies that are like, eh, we're not sure, we really just want to put out a good product. They're the ones that do the best. They often slightly upset the fans, if only because people have an expectation. They want the game, they want it now! But, 
Wouldn't you rather have a game that's not broken? So, oh my god, that's terrible. It is. It is. This is a real thing. This is why um, a lot of these gaming companies, I look at, I have a degree, media arts and game design. I've looked at a lot of them. I've thought about working for them. Um, at least remotely, because that's all I can do. I'd have to move real, really far away in a place that's really expensive to live to work on most of these games. Uh, otherwise, if I try to get into stuff where I live, it's the competition's too high, I'll never get in. Um, there's people who will work for free just to build their resume to get it there, and it's just not possible. Um, they have rich parents. They have other people that carry them while they do it. Um, but their ratings are generally so low online. Like, if you look at, like, Glassdoor or um, Indeed and look at a lot of, like, the ratings for these companies, a lot of these major AAA gaming companies, they're usually terrible. They have sweet perks. You know, they have all the perks in the world because they have all the money. They're usually younger owners with younger ideas. About how to treat their employees and all that stuff, but at the same time, crunch time is a very real thing. I did apply for a place that said you need to be okay with crunch time up front. It was on the application. Crunch time's a real thing. You may have to be stuck working months at the office and not being able to go home. Is that okay with you? You have to agree to that before you even submit your application. So if that's a dream of yours, if you want to work on video games, you want to be a part of a studio, do all this, do all that, uh, they tell you up front that you're basically selling your soul for a game. Are people yelling outside? There's people yelling outside. I can't listen. I need to hear this shit. they figure it out. Do you like any games that Bethesda makes? Ooh, shit, hold on, hold on, hold on. I definitely do. Ooh. Fuck nuggets. Um... <laughs> Shit sucks, but it happened. They just overwhelmed us. They had all five people by the time they got to me and the last guy, so. Um, game design is very hard, especially with autism. Oh, I can totally agree that it's probably terrible. Some of the people with autism, though, are insanely gifted at stuff like that. Like, they're the people, they're... Because of their disability, they are socially awkward, so they don't mind never leaving the audio, uh, office and because that's something they like it's something they go full into in a way that people who aren't autistic never can and they can become you know god tier designers and uh yeah but i i love the festa what do the two things have to do in common is there um more popular designers or something at Bethesda that have autism or something, or how do those two correlate? But I will say I like the core Bethesda games. Fallouts. Starfield looks amazing. I'm gonna say I want Starfield so bad right now. Um, Elder Scrolls, best things ever. Uh, I absolutely love the main. Elder Scrolls games. Not into the MMO. I've tried a few times because I love the universe so much, but I just can't get into MMOs anymore. Um, so, super happy for, or super excited for 6. When and if that ever happens.
you know, signs point towards doubtful. They keep they keep releasing little tidbits talking about it. Uh, IDK, my BFF too. Great commercial. Jesus Christ. Pretty hard to do anything when the whole team keeps getting wiped. Can't cover everything. <laughs> I ran back into that room because we had two or three people in the room I was in. And I was like, well, no one's covering that main room. I'm going to go back, cover that. Go back to cover that and immediately cycle back in because every teammate that we had in the barrel storage room or whatever was already caked on the wall. Sadly, very excited. But I'm I'm happy that they have three now of those types of genres. And I know they take like five, eight, ten years to make a Fallout uh, in Elder Scrolls. Like Elder Scrolls came out at the beginning of towards the end of 360. It came out 11 years ago. It came out in 11, 11, 11. I'll never forget the date. And, uh, has not been one new Elder Scrolls since. And it's really a, an absolute shame. Because they're squandering a lot of money. I don't know whoever the director is or top guy is saving it for whatever reason. But, uh, you know, they'll crank out Fallouts, but Elder Scrolls always falls behind. Not that I hate Fallouts, I absolutely love Fallouts. Um, but, you know, we're not getting those either. Fallout 4 came out pretty early with a new console. So they haven't done something in, like, nine years with that main studio. Alright, this is dumb as shit. Please don't do that. Love Elder Scrolls as well, and Fallout. I'm just saying, those games are great. There's a lot of games where they're, um... For real, for real? He just started blasting through and then found my head before I could react. That's amazing. This dude, a fucking rattlesnake? What the fuck? I'll be right back. But, gotta say, I love all the games that their main studio puts out, but they are a publisher and own a bunch of other studios that have put out complete garbage. So when I see Bethesda slapped on there, um, I'm more hesitant than I used to be because I have been burned by some of the games they publish. But uh, overall, absolutely love their content for the most part.
So my big thing here is that I'm really hoping that Starfield holds up to the quality Defense has lost every round of this game. That's absolute balls. Um, I'm hoping that it keeps up with Fallouts and the Elder Scrolls series and can last. Um, a long time like if you want to play that I want it to be a long-term game I want it to be a game that I'm playing for two months and still haven't discovered everything it does I saw a side-by-side -side comparison of Starfield to No Man's Sky and uh Sadly, they look almost identical in a lot of ways. So if you want to play Starfield now, just play No Man's Sky. And actually, a lot of No Man's Sky looks better. You can see it. Todd Howard confirmed that Elder Scrolls first, then Fallout in an IGN interview. Oh, hell yeah. Dude, I know the Xbox, when they bought Bethesda, were super pumped about the ability to say fuck you to PlayStation on that one. A. Down to ten seconds. And that B. Um, Five seconds left. They were going to be able to release Elder Scrolls, Fallout, all of that, and make them Game Pass day one releases to encourage you to buy the console. And uh, not only that, but exclusives to the console. So it's just such a fuck you move to their competitor. I, I absolutely loved it. It was probably the most ground-shaking move in gaming in so long. Like, what was it? F Four billion? It was the same cost as the Star Wars franchise for Disney. Can you imagine? Dude, don't! I just... I should have had that guy. I can't believe he beat me. I'm so mad I threw my controller. Spray and pray, brother. Spray and pray. Jeez. It'll be super sick to get that Fallout 5 and um, Elder Scrolls 6. You ever see... Fallout 1 and 2, what they looked like. They were like Diablo-esque. So you ever played a Diablo game? They looked exactly like those on PC. They are PC exclusives. <sighs> Time to take this shit seriously. Speaking of Resident Evil, instead of Lion, we're going to play Leon. But yeah, I'm so excited. I was just thinking when I ran off to the bathroom um, this last time about what it was like when Skyrim came out. How it was like, blow everybody's balls off, graphics, it was the coolest thing. The mechanics in it were insane, where there was that like... If you got a kill. Drone has located a bomb. It like it would slow down or if you if you were up close and personal doing close quarters combat, you know, it would slow down, you might grab the guy by the shoulder and stab him or stab him in the back or spin around and chop his head off. They had all these crazy animations to finish fights. Um 
Kind of like Fallout had with VATS, the ATS, where the game would slow down as you're shooting somebody and their face, their arm, whatever would blow off. I would hope one of these four guys are covering the bomb, but perhaps the person reviving me could put down a gridlock of stuff on the bomb. him slide out he slid out of there like he was coming out from the first time in the life but you know what I mean <laughs> this is just super cool slide that was kind of hilarious all right so not gonna win as Leon who should we win as we got MVP almost locked up here Aside from somebody getting a four piece to an ace. Should we do Doc? I haven't done Doc in a long time. That's what I'm talking about. That's fine. Siege can be tough. I love Diablo. I was a... Oh, my... God! We would lose a guy the moment the round starts on... Overtime match point, death match, this is it, this is the win. Down a guy. Of course we are. I'm trying to build a mage. 76 was bad. Uh, by far. I know 76 was terrible upon release. I don't know what it was like after release. Um. I know it was really bad initially, there was like no NPCs, there was this empty world. It was what it was. I think they had an empty season, they did a lot of changes, it got better and better and better and better and better, but
Oh, I did everything I could. Whole team got clapped in no time. I'm getting teabagged by three dudes. I was the only one positive. More kills than deaths on my team. She. I can hardly catch a break tonight in solo rank siege. I've got one ween, one ween, <laughs> one ween, and uh, five or six losses. I fall further down, and then because I'm playing against worse competition, I was almost gold to start the stream. Now I'm bronze. This is, this is garbage. Um, and thank you for saying I'm doing great at siege. Not that I'm great at it, that I'm doing great. That I'm having some good games. I'm uh, doing well. It's just not enough to overcome what I'm going through. <laughs> With uh, everyone getting clapped right away. Ah! Um, it's fine. It's fine. This just means that the games are easier for me and I look better as I move down and the competition gets easier. I've got plenty of friends who are platinum level top tier players and what where's that and they uh have fallen all the way down to the bottom doing solos so solos is tough tough what was that sound by the way hmm maybe i do have a tumor what's going on Hi. Whoa, Kayla, throwing out a hundred stars and a heart. Oh. You, thank you so much. Cheers, appreciate you. How'd you back, Avi? Appreciate it. How are you doing? What are you up to? Didn't you start the stream with a hundred stars? Wasn't that you? A cheers and now a heart. That's my girl right there. Um, someone sent stars. Nice. I know it's not every day that I get them, and uh, you know, I super appreciate them. Every stars uh, sent are amazing. They uh, go a long way helping out the stream. Every set of stars that comes in gets reinvested right back into it. We got uh, VR. We got Oculus Quest 2, thanks to the Star Senders. Super pumped about that. Um, and now we're just working on games. So if anyone ever else wants to send any stars, what we're spending them on right now is VR games. You tell me what VR games you want us to play. It goes into a list. Um, I'm going to take that list. I'm going to use it. I'm going to make that... Um, the basis of my decision on what games we're going to play. I'm not going to play any VR games right now. I have it. But being the dead of summer, it's 95 every day. I'm I'm sweating like a pig out here. Um, it, just disgusting, you know. And uh, something about putting a hot console on my face <laughs> in this kind of heat while I'm sweating already just sounds like a friggin' nightmare. Um, and not only that, but I talked to a few friends that have them, and one said that he had a battery pack because it dies in two and a half, maybe three hours if you're lucky. Uh, I was like, I stream for at least three hours. So he said, I would suggest a battery pack. So there's a battery pack on the back of your head that's going to be hot as hell. Console on the front of your face. Um, until either I get central air, an like AC unit in the office... I just moved here not even two full months ago. Um, you know, until there's something that changes that makes it so my face isn't sweating the headset and it's sliding down off the sweat on my face. Sorry for what you have to watch here. Um, until that's all taken care of, I won't uh, VR it. So it'll definitely happen. Honestly, it will probably be a big part of the Resident Evil playthrough that we're gonna do. Because I definitely plan to do RE4 on that, so that's going to be 
awesome evening. You can only play around midnight when it gets chilly out. That's a good point, Kayla. When it's so cold out that I'm shivering, I will put the hot shit on my face. This dude just turned his mic on and said, Oh, yeah. Turn his mic off. A little weird. VR uh, can make people sick, but it's amazing. I have not gotten sick on it in the limited time I've used it. I've never had an issue. I Well, I will say... That when... Maybe I'm not feeling well already. It might make me dizzy after a bit. I'm not much of a motion sickness person, luckily. But I will say it can be super disorienting depending on what you're doing. Bit mad about that window shenanigans right there so I'm very excited um, Kayla of course if you have any suggestions you can let me know here on the stream or you can let me know just when you're here uh, but the four games that people who have donated stars have suggested are the Rick and Morty game the Star Wars game Skyrim funny that we're talking about it and Resident Evil 4 Resident Evil 4 already purchased that's off the books i put that fully in on my end because i'm just so excited for it so whatever you guys donate so far is going towards uh, one of the star wars games rick and morty for sure that's happening i'm a hundred percent in on that high on life when that comes out completely different thing also super excited for that and uh, i just think skyrim that might be a super super sick way to play that game through again So I'm all in for mostly suggestions. The only one I like is the ones we've already done. Uh, so what Kayla means by that is one we've already played, um, done a lot of, had a good time with, is Beat Saber. Uh, one of the most popular VR games, most of you know it, maybe you don't know it by name. But what Beat Saber is, is the one where basically your hands, I have little lightsabers in them, um, and you're chopping blocks to... Um, the beat of music. And while it's a super fun game, a super entertaining game and all that, and I love it, the problem is, is that Facebook is super hard ass about copyright. Um, infringement, like, they will shut your stream down. I just got strikes on my account yesterday. For me talking as a copyright so it's broken right now it's totally broken and uh, my intro music which is non copyrighted royalty free and I've been using for months so uh, something like that that definitely has copyrights and everything I, I just cannot play uh, on stream I could do YouTube's
Later that'll have to be uh, just for fun because I'll never get anything out of him. In the back! God damn it. That fucking guy. Reason I died. I would have got the guy laying down. 100%. Problem is I kick your butt. Oh, she talked shit. That is a problem. That is a problem. I'll admit that. I allow you to beat me for your confidence and your benefit. That's all that's happening. But, uh, you know, I don't know. If you donate like another 100 stars, I might be inclined to say that your skill is higher than mine. I don't know. I, I could come up with anything for a hundred stars, really. Um, but otherwise, you know, you know, of these gamer reactions, you've seen them, are so good that there's no way I could actually lose unless I was trying to lose. You know that. Awesome, you're great at rock band. Um, terrible at Beat Saber. Facebook is pretty picky. They're pretty ridiculous about it. And here's the thing: uh, if you look it up, there is a ton of music that they have the copyrights to. They have, uh, I, sh I should say, the licensing. They have the proper licensing for. Uh, but they only let partners. So it's the top of the top. The people with thousands and thousands of followers. Um, people who have hundreds in their stream. Um, at all times, those are the only people who are allowed to use copyrighted music. They don't use lower level people like me um, Use that kind of stuff. So unfortunately if I use royalty-free music or sometimes just talk uh, I get the shaft. There's nothing I can do about it I heard a window break up top and I looked. I'm gonna drink. Nine! I'm very angry about that one. I have no idea what I was talking about a second ago, by the way. Oh, the copyrights thing. They're my only violations I've ever had. A royalty-free song that used for the intro and me talking, and I got two strikes. Super pissed. That is, it's super like, um, I said this earlier, NBA or NHL finals where there's seven games, and they want to get seven games because they want all that ticket money. They want those TV ads. There's so much money to be had, so the referees do bullshit calls every time in the finals, every single year, without fail, in order to guarantee they get those extra games, they get that extra money. So, that's what this feels like. I mean, they're getting nothing out of me, except for basically free time of keeping people's eyes on the Facebook. But, uh... Whoa, that was dirty. Um... But their bullshit violations is all I'm saying. That's my point. Not happy about it. And I'm not great at rock band. I should say that right now. Um, I could do the guitar up to four fingers, but the last one, the fourth finger, my pinky was like curled in for some reason. And I'm sitting here like trying to pull it all the way out to the blue button. And I just couldn't do it. And then moving down to the orange, couldn't do it. Uh, my only friend I had growing up in middle school when they were first coming out and most popular who could do it said when he was introduced to the game he was forced to do the five finger one and he failed miserably over and over and over and over again and his friend that introduced him said yes it's going to suck it might make you even quit the game but here's the thing you're actually going to be able to do it from the start because if you do not start this way you might never actually get up to that skill level and I was like god damn it why didn't I do that So that was okay. 
For stars, you tell the truth? For stars, I'll tell whatever version of the truth you want. I'm not a man of morals. I will do... I'll do anything to support the stream. Hey, NFL refs, period. I understand. NFL refs also are super bad. I'm a Bears fan. It's been forgotten about, but one of the most bullshit calls of all time. And if you're a real football fan, whether you like the Bears or not, undeniably the worst call of all time happened against the Bears um, against the Steelers this last year uh, NFL player celebrated on defense after he made a play uh, immediately turned around and went to his bench the referee got in his way once he what the fuck there was people there uh, uh, whatever two guys ran two so what happened to Cassius Marsh of the NFL Bears? I'm fucking pissed. Two people just ran in that direction. I thought I was covered. Also, nobody did any reinforcing. I was literally the only one. I'm the only person of five. We deserve to lose this. I'm the MVP with two kills. I'm gonna do the Jackie Chan meme where he's like, oh, what? I hate this team. I hate solos. I hate everything. This is what I signed up for, and I'm so pissed. <laughs> uh, Cassius Marsh, yeah, the referee bumped into him, then the referee threw a penalty uh, in a series of BS penalties that essentially lost the Bears the game that they would have otherwise won. Um, for sure, for sure. There was not just that penalty, but a lot of them. There was headshots on Justin Fields, the quarterback, who... While sliding, they fucking clipped him in the head hard. I admit, he doesn't have the best sliding technique. I'm so happy we lost and that it's over. Finally, I can go down to bronze and... Damn, I was almost at gold. You realize that, right? Anyway, it was the uproar. It was the uproar for weeks. People are like, get rid of these fucking refs, we hate them. And they just charmed us with content. And we forgot all about the fact that they continuously screw people. You started since Guitar Hero 3 was brand new. That's the first one I had was Guitar Hero 3. I had Guitar Hero 3, but I started on Guitar Hero 2 playing with buddies. But I didn't have the guitar or anything at home. So it took a while for me to get it. And it was definitely expensive. It was like, what? $250 for the guitar in the game at release at release maybe it didn't cost that whenever anybody else bought it but it was obnoxious so I wanted it bad when Rock Band came out and it had the drums um, the microphone well, I don't remember what the other one was I remember at one point they had a keyboard and stuff like that that was a lot of fun I barely ever played that it was only at like one or two parties in high school I got to play, and I was so bad at everything else that if there was like 12 people there, I basically just got kicked off. So I barely ever played Rock Band, sadly. I'd love to go back and play it. Refs are bad, especially if Brady's there. Any older quarterback that's near or in their 40s, Peyton Manning in his last few years could not get hit without a flag coming out. Aaron Rodgers cannot get hit without a flag coming out. Brady for sure. Ben Roethlisberger, the same thing. Older quarterbacks who have made friendships and relationships with the refs. They're older. They can't get hit as much. Otherwise, they will be broken. Um, <clears throat> they get away with every penalty. Um, I, I mean, just them getting touched as penalty. There's times where guys go up to hit them, and they stop because they threw the ball, and they're like, back of their hand might hit the guy as they're falling down. Penalty. There's bullshit like that that has happened, for the record. Um, so you gotta understand for some reason they will always get everything and the young guys will always get punished bad headshots like crazy and all kinds of stuff it sucks 
Anytime, any team, he gets the flag. You're not wrong, though. You're not wrong. Brady, for sure, gets treatment like no other. He's the GOAT. He's the GOAT, and he still plays. You know, there's only... I mean, maybe he's been getting away with some bullshit for a long time. But there's only so much bullshit that can occur that results in you winning the game. And he still has an insane winning percentage. So, you know, I hated him for a long time in New England, and I've just come to like him more and more after he left. Not that he didn't go to a superstar stack team with good coaches, with a proven track record and all that. But just because he's playing well beyond anybody else and playing significantly better than anybody else in those years, um, the fact that his wins keep happening, he still comes out with those... We're down by three or four touchdown comeback wins. Insane stuff that he pulls off. It's hard not to like him. Personally. I just cannot respect the band for what he's come up with. Whatever advantages they've come up with, like Bill Belichick coming up with things that kind of loophole the rules. Look, they put in the time, the energy and the intelligence to get those loopholes out there and get away with those wins. People might not like it because maybe the integrity is a little weak, but they do what it takes to win. Um, that is respectable to me. Technically, not wrong at the time. So... I can respect it more. When he was on New England, I really just hated him. Practice through the flames on Expert was so close. Dude, through the fire and flames. What an absolute classic. That and, well, Freebird was on too. But Freebird was insane as well. Anytime you move too aggressively through the building, you can just turn a corner 10 feet away like that too quick and you're fucked you have to move so slow and then it's super aggressive you gotta be a fucking rattlesnake in siege slow 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 strike slow 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 strike you know You got a minute 24. Play it slow. Let's go. The only sad thing about this is that you have no idea what's happening around you while you're doing it other than audio. To your right, to your right, to your right. I heard him. He might rotate around. I mean, he's got time. And if he does, he would come around right to his blind spot there. On the nub of the uh, site. Oh, shit. I'm just going to shut up and drink. That was legit. Couldn't do well at first, but everything after the beginning and, uh... And Guitar Hero, I'm guessing. Yeah, I was probably... Gorsh darn awful. At the beginning. Quite terrible, but... You know, easy wasn't bad. Excuse me, where it was only three things? You got that down. 
and Siege is very patient type game and skill wise. There's patience, there's skill and experience and teamwork. There's so many factors, which is why I like it. Uh, I feel like you don't, if you know the game well enough, if you have the other things, the teamwork should just fall together because you should just understand your roles and how to play around other people. Um, experience, helping you understand the map, know the map, know the rotations, possible plays on defense and all that. And where a head is going to come through a door, if they're standing, if they're crouching, where the headshot's going to be that you can just get a one-tap kill. That is huge in the understanding of this game. Once you get that down, your kills will go up astronomically because everyone's the same height, which I think is a major fail. Everyone being the same height, I think, is complete shit. There's no way all these operators would be the same height. There's 60-some people by now. Uh, the height should be all different. You should be kept guessing. You shouldn't be able to hold doors like that. Um, it's garbage. So, that's my two cents. <clears throat> I'd like to just say that there was not a single person on the second floor when I came through on my drone. But of course someone was at that fucking window right away when I came through. It sucks. It happens. So that wasn't very patient, but you know, it's such a gamble. You never know what patience is going to buy you versus what it's going to cost you. Acting now versus reacting. There's patience and doing nothing. It's so hard to say what's going to win you that round, win you that fight, cost you everything. I just didn't use um, drones like I should have. At any level of intelligence when I went in. Yeah, I miss Guitar Hero. Do they still make Guitar Hero? I remember they were making spin-off games that were dedicated to a single band and all kinds of shit like that. Um, they had like Van Halen, Metallica, and all that stuff. Well, I've taken a kajillion screenshots and don't even remember taking one. <laughs> Keeps happening. The diffuser has been recovered. Swapping mag. Tari was dead. Rock Band 4 is still going strong. Oh, is it? I just feel like I hear nothing about it. So, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I just saw something about uh, Chris Evans talking about Toy Story, saying what Tim Allen did is pretty untouchable. I don't know if the new Buzz Lightyear thing is Chris Evans instead of Tim Allen playing him or something. Must be. But uh, if you didn't see it, it was like a TMZ thing that went out today. It was pretty hilarious of Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks is known as, like, the Hollywood good guy, right? He's the guy who's always been just the nicest guy, thankful. He's got that really calming voice where you just feel like you can just talk to you through the camera or whatever, and you just like him. Like, everyone just likes Tom Hanks. So there was a... Uh, him and his wife were walking to their car last night, 
and just trying to get in and there was a bunch of fans that were just basically hugging him on the walk back and somebody stepped on his wife's shoe or something like that and she almost tripped she like did a like a, oh you know and didn't quite fall or whatever but uh their security team started getting in people people's way and uh tom hanks turned around looked at all the fans in something i've never seen before and started screaming at him get the fuck back he's screaming like a banshee out there it was kind of awesome you hear people apologize i'm sorry tom i'm sorry tom I don't think they were even the people that made it a problem. He won't even know who they are later. You could see him again and they'd be like, he's, oh, who are you? But it was crazy. I'd never seen Tom Hanks like that. So I enjoyed it. I watched that video um, at least twice today. Check it out if you haven't seen it. True, the community is still strong on uh, Rock Band and Guitar Hero. I know every once in a while, people who uh, definitely down to clown in that game. I can't imagine how bad my skill at Guitar Hero would be now. Don't let him kill me! Drop an ace here. Drop an ace here. Gain the uh, MVP. That's all I got to do. Not too hard. Good round. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. I um, uh, I got some damage and I don't think I really did much other than some cysts. Still at one kill. Got this little breadstick here, but... We haven't lost around, so can't really complain. Protect the bomb. Then the problem is more a lack of targets. Even though I have gotten murked at least twice immediately. Be 
Awesome, you dropped uh, like yet since you've been in here, buddy? If you have, I don't think your name popped up and I would definitely cheers you. If you haven't, if you could, I'd love to give you a cheers um, for dropping that like. That's kind of a BS. <laughs> Battery, that's awesome. Oh man, sorry for that laugh. Hey, I see the reaction number go up. I did before I started watching. Oh, all right. Then, uh, well, it depends. It depends. Okay, so if you like, like a post or a share or something. Um, is different than if, like, when you click on the stream and the, like, chat pulls up on the bot. I'm talking, like, if you're on your phone, where you actually click on the video and it opens the stream. If you like it in there, where, like, the little bubbles come up with the likes, the ha-has, whatever, they shoot little bubbles up and you can hit it as many times as you want. When you do that, <coughs> sorry, I'm talking a lot, then, uh, it'll actually pop up on the screen here. And it counts differently. I don't really know how it all counts, but I just see it pop up to eight here don't know um who was or if it'll pop up or whatever's going on but cheers thank you very much i don't know if that was austin or somebody else so just in case i will say austin thank you for the extra like there cheers There it is, it was you. Ah, oh, dang. I gave you that double cheers, and I regret nothing. Oh my god, I need an ace, and instead I just died. <laughs> this, this round has been a game of bad decisions. This man's special ability is to make giant holes in walls with his body. Left. Smash a little hole. That might have just won us the game. Nope. They're in the middle of placing. Ah. It was a good move. It was a great move, but... Ranked is no joke. It can be stressful. Yeah, I know. I try not to take it too seriously. It just sucks to watch yourself falling down the ladder uh, when it's not your fault. I've maybe had one, possibly at most, two bad games. Of this whole series and I've lost all but one I've carried I've carried I've carried and it's just never enough it's really hard to do against five people I've had many rounds today where it's me versus five and uh, 30 seconds and I'm like what just happened surrounded and I'm dead and it's no bueno no bueno so I don't like it it is what it is That is the strongest red pepper I ever did see. Let's 
good news is, unless this is a purely offensive game, which we would then win. Um, we can just pull off one of these wins. We got it. I don't expect an MVP on this one, but it would be nice. Give me that one bullet, baby! I retire after this. It was up. The first one or two bullets got lucky as he was driving by. Got me. He was a little below the chin, so I think it was boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Not gonna say I haven't benefited from some lucky ricochet before, but I hate when it happens to me. So, hopefully, we win this one. First kill of the round, not bad. Half the time's up, they've got a short amount of time to make a play here. Yeah, Thorn's got nothing. If you're scared of where you're at, at least go back to where the other person just died. The, you know what? You can't get upset. He made a play to win the game. He could have never won it, but he went for it. You can only give some respect to that. I don't give a shit. Pick where you want us to lose. I will do so with the most grace I can possibly have. He tried, I can respect that. Yeah, 100% 100, 100 agree, Austin. He did what I would guarantee you 90% of players would not do. You know, so often do you watch players just stand there and do nothing. You can't get upset when somebody gave it their all, even though it was completely hopeless.
the pill. Where are these explosions? What is happening? Oh, God. I heard him planting. I had to make a move. Shit. I heard him here. I just couldn't see him. This guy's in a bad spot to make that move. Mission failed. He almost got away with one kill though. Overtime. Let's go. Okay. Offense only winning. We start on offense. Goes round nine. Ipso facto should win the game. Oh shit, we're down a person? No, we're not. Okay. Doesn't show the guy all the way right here behind me. This guy. But he's here. Got questions. Austin, thank you for the good luck. I'm gonna need it here. Uh, I think. I think you can pull it off. Too bad we got five players here, and unfortunately, he's not in the game. Um, I don't know what to think about that. All I can say is this controller is kind of yellow, kind of invisible, with a little bit of all of it. I'm gonna play upside down here. It's the upside down controller challenge. How's it going? Not well. All right, I'll quit. <laughs> oh, he made it. He made it. He made it. Uh, I don't know how long he's been in here. I've been too busy trying to make jokes. Probably bad jokes. But hey, we're trying. Um, it's pretty even spread. I'm tied for... No, no. When you take all stats into account, I am the worst player of all 10 in this game right now. When you take points into account, I'm top 5. I'm top 4, actually. Gold B. So you know how I know the people who made this have not been to Australia? There wouldn't be cold beer. Actually, there might be. I don't know if they keep cold being in Australia. I'm thinking Australia is probably going to be more like Europe. Europe. Um, where they don't have cold beer there. They don't believe in it. Shit! I don't want to get both bomb sites. Right, I need to just follow people. I'm just dying going on my own. I've got the good luck bestowed upon me by Austin, so I should, if I'm lucky, not die instantly. Thank you, Austin.
By the way, that will give you an instant kill. Putting it in the drone hole like that. So we got one minute left. We haven't made it into the building. No way, no. I'm not happy about that. And the first one we made the move in, I progressed our team. Down to one friendly. We're about to lose offense, which so far is the only side of the diffuser that was won. That's pretty much that. Um, I love your optimism, Austin. Optimistic Austin. Uh, I'm d whatever. I'll, I'm going to pretend I said that correctly and not as uh, terribly as I did. Um, I think we still have a chance. Uh, our chances now are astronomically low. We have not won the defense yet. They just won their first defense. And honestly, when you can win a side of the diffuser that's not winning, um, that pretty much means you won the game. So, hey, anything can happen. We could still spoke too soon. <laughs> Slightly, slightly. That's three drones on me. One, two, three. But he's not wrong, Derry. Anybody could uh, still pull off the win. This is trap fucking city. You want to come in, come in, but just so you know. There's traps fucking everywhere. <laughs> Jeez. I'm gonna end her here after this game, so this or next round is basically it for the night. Um, it's been an awesome night. I'd like to thank everybody who's been hanging out and chatting with us. Uh, please stick through till the end. It's gonna be good one way or another. Uh, I'm either gonna flip the fuck out. <laughs> Or we're gonna win. I took a few hits, sure. But at what cost of them? Fuck! There was one still outside! Damn it. Okay, I did my best. <laughs> um. Can't believe it's almost midnight. Holy oh, shit, that happened real fast. Been streaming for four hours.
Come on. I made a boss flank. And I know there's still a guy outside. I I think we could have done more. It's midnight there for you too. So you must be in my time zone. Hell yeah. Lost to some guy named Calzone. He named himself after his favorite food. Might not even be his favorite. It might just be something he kind of likes. Losing these fucking bronzes. I was top of silver. I'm not just in bronze. I've moved down through bronze. This is bullshit. I'm kind of pissed. Anyway, it's all right. Night's over. Um, thinking again, everybody who's been in here. Excuse me. Question of the night. Pretty much everybody figured it out. Um, was which ancient civilization invented the wheel? Was it Egypt, Mesopotamia, the Aztecs, or Persia? <laughs> Excuse me. A lot of carbonation. Uh, I'll put the answer in the chat right now tonight. If you have not had the chance yet, please do uh, do me the favor. Do me the solid. Drop a follow. It goes a long way. It helps out a ton. We have tons of great stuff we put out. Tons of great clips that come out all the time here on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. YouTube, we put every full stream on. Check it out. If you are on YouTube, thank you for watching. Drop a hat sub and uh, drop a like. We've been growing over there, and it's been awesome to see all these people joining us on YouTube. Yeah, same on TikTok. TikTok's been growing. Basically everything but Instagram. Fuck Instagram. The rest of it, amazing. Join all those. Check it out. They're super fun. Um, in the description of the live stream here, you can find all of our socials that we're on. Um, so let's do some shout outs quick before we end her tonight. Uh, thank you, Michael Payne, for the like right away. Uncanny, thank you for the like in the chat being first in here. Actually, uh, William Dodge, thank you for the like and share. Kayla, thank you for the like. And the 200 stars. Big shout out to Kayla. Um, you're an awesome, amazing person. Um, thank you for all you've done here. Levon, thank you for the like and chatting a little bit with us there. Mike, thank you for the like, chatting a little bit with us. William, thank you for the sh share. I already said that. Kayla uh, and uh, Austin, basically down to Austin. Thank you for chatting with me for so long, hanging out for such a long time, and for the like. Appreciate you, brother. Good to have you in here. Um, absolute pleasure to chat with you every time i love talking with people anyone whoever wants to come in here just chat it up with us please do it's it's great that makes my night honestly that's what i'm looking for is making connections with you guys chatting with you guys having a good time um so yeah uh probably won't be on tomorrow got a long day ahead of me um Probably not Sunday. Sunday is kind of just like my chill day. You never know, though. So probably be back on next Monday. Uh, we'll be back on Monday through Wednesday. Maybe Thursday. We'll see. Thursday is going to be an interesting day. Um, or maybe Wednesday will be an interesting day. I don't know. Things are on the horizon. There's talks of things. We'll see what shakes out. There might be no stream. There might be a stream with a special thing going on. I'll keep you guys posted. Anyway, so for sure we'll be back on Monday and Tuesday. Um, Wednesday, Thursday, get a little iffy and we'll see what happens. Until then, you guys have a great night, great weekend. Appreciate you guys. You're all awesome. Thank you, Ram fam. Have a good night and uh, stay fresh, cheese bags. Oh, and before I get away from us, the answer tonight, which ancient civilization invented the wheel? Uh, it was 20% uh, voted for Egypt. Uh, no one voted for Aztecs or Persia, but 80% voted for Mesopotamia. It was, in fact, Mesopotamia. So, congratulations to the 80% that got it correct. You guys are smart as fuck. So, we'll see you guys next time. Have a good night and a good weekend. Love you guys.